Exciting days, leading edge companies, groundbreaking new technologies, and never before seen products will be showcased at the Electronic Entertainment Expo, or E3 as it's called. CEO of the Entertainment Software Association, Stanley Pierre Louis, and Emily Rose Jacobson is a gamer. They're both joining us now. So, you guys, what can we expect from E3 this year? Well, thanks for having us. E3 features the biggest brands and the biggest fans in video games today. It's a place to celebrate games and to find out what's next. So whether you're into new games or new technologies like virtual reality or streaming, this is the place to be. All right, and so what does the future of gaming look like? The future of video gaming is limitless because we bring people together. Today there are more ways to play and more ways to play together. In fact, 65% of players play together. So with 164 million adults playing in the United States, we're bringing a lot of people together. All right, so now let's talk about the show. What exactly is trending there now? Well, right now we are in the height of esports, so there's an esports arena here covering all you need to know. There's a number of interactive experiences. Like Stan said, we're seeing more and more multiplayers coming out, being developed by these big companies. Games are just getting bigger, better, bolder, and no matter what kind of gamer you are, there is a game here at E3 for you. So what are some of the new products that have really caught your eye? Oh my goodness, where to begin? Uh, <laughs> Microsoft announced earlier this week the Xbox Game Pass, which is going to allow players to have full access to a huge library of games, including Gears 5. And this pass is available on the Xbox console as well as for PC gamers. And then from Ubisoft, we've got Ghost Recon Breakpoint, bringing tactical co-op gameplay to a brand new level. You'll be able to refine tactical approach before missions, assign user squad roles with a new system, and even there, carry your own teammates out of battle with a carry buddy feature. And then from Nintendo, we have a beautiful remaster of Link's Awakening, originally that came out on the Game Boy in 1993, beautifully remastered on the Switch. And then later this month, we actually have Super Mario Maker coming out as well, where you get to actually build your own Super Mario levels. And finally, EA blew us all away with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, where you, where you will get to take on the role of Cal Keston, a Jedi on the run from the Empire after Order 66 has been executed. Uh, you'll have to use the Force, your lightsaber, and your wits to survive. Oh, wow. All right. This is so exciting. So where can our viewers find some more information? Well, visit e3expo.com to stream all the action and to learn about the more than 200 exhibitors from over 100 countries. All right, and thank for more news on social media, be sure to follow the E3 2019 hashtag on Twitter. Awesome, all right, thank you guys so much for joining us. You can check this segment out again. Just head over to our website, firstcoastliving.net.